Hey everybody and welcome to the start of yet another Pseudo Paradox uh, Triumvirate campaign featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as Mathis and Arumba. Say hello. Hello. Hello there. Oh, oh hang on. I feel like I'm going to repeat myself, but Ryan, <laughs> well, I thought we started one a little while ago. Yeah, this is Indian <laughs> now. Well, deja vu. In actuality, uh, we had some technical issues recording Rajas of India uh, involved with the kind of new internet system in that game. So uh, rather than kind of mire ourselves and ruin our productivity by spending two and a half hours each time we wanted to record Rajas of India dealing with that, we decided to start a new series, and Game of Thrones starts on uh, Tomorrow. Sunday. Well, today, actually. the video When the video goes up, should be today. Is it oh, the 5th? Hey. Uh, today's the 4th. Uh, right, well, the, the, this will go up on the 5th, though, correct? I, mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. You tell us, commenters, because you're here on the present day. Uh, and yes, yeah, so we're playing the Game of Thrones mod for uh, Crusader Kings 2, which should be a lot of fun. I'll introduce myself briefly. I'm playing Lord Paramount Eddard Stark, Sean Bean of the North. Mathis, how about you? <laughs> Lord Paramount Tywin of the Westerlands, Hand of the Mad King, who is currently not going to help his king too much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for doing that, because I am I'm Robert Baratheon. I'm going to take the throne. And uh, I, I, we were talking about this earlier, but I, I was looking over the um, the ambitions. Do you guys have this this ambition to uh, what make is it? the eight? No, make... I do not. <laughs> it, says, uh, it says, "Prove your manliness to all the realm by laying with a girl from each of the seven kingdoms." It's that's perfect. a hell of an ambition, I must say. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Robert Baratheon for you. I'm a ladies' man. So, does it have your like your progress towards it right now? Yes, I have laid with a girl from the Vale, and I've laid with a girl from the North. Okay, <laughs> wow. your your wife. I don't know. I'm what, I, what I'm <laughs> or noticing you're, you're here betrothed. is there's a ton of new traits to my character. So I think it's going to be good to point out is that myself and Ryan have not played this mod right. um, to pretty much any extent. Um, while Arumba has played it, have you, would you say you have played it extensively, sir? Or No, no. I, I mean, I've played probably 30... 30 videos worth, like, probably five hours, but it's, uh, yeah, there's a lot to it. Yeah. And it's a total overhaul mod. Everything's changed. Mm -hmm. So, Arumbo, why don't you introduce what's happening right now uh, with the war that we've all been kind of brought into? All right, so, essentially, you and I are brothers in arms. We've been, like, friends since birth, basically. Um, we're essentially blood brothers. And okay. And King Ares the Mad is currently in charge of the Iron Throne, and we are attacking him. Um... Rhaegar Targaryen holds my wife and imprisoned in Dragonstone Island. Okay. And uh, I don't actually remember. Do, do you guys remember why we ended up at Works? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't remember. Um, I no. I'm looking at I've my council right now. I've only seen the first right season of the show, so my council it's, is actually terrifying. They're huge. It's it's very very big. I have kind of like some font overrunning. Oh, uh, scroll down real quick. Like click the down arrow, then go back up. And ah, it. very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, King Ares the Mad, we need to go kill him and take his stuff. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're supposed to march south immediately. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Okay. I, I already have my troops set to march. It's okay. Awesome. Well, I'm definitely going to take the ambition to make the eight. I mean, I yeah, can't take anything else, right? <laughs> Robert Baratheon. Uh, the, so this faction that you were talking about, Liege Loyalists, is actually positive. Yes. It's like a, it's like a mechanic they put into the game to make people that like you join a faction so that they kind of don't join other factions. Okay. Only be in, a, in one faction at a time, and this kind of helps them to be loyal to you. That's There's a lot, okay. of, a lot of ambitions that I'm not aware of. <laughs> Adopt a lifestyle. Lord Paramount Tywin wants an exciting hobby to pursue. <laughs> or sounds, obtain a good. Valerian sword. Uh, well, you need one of those, definitely. Of course. I'm going with it. Made out of Have pure Valerian pulse? steel. Sorry, what? Mm -hmm. Did you say something? Oh yes, I did. Have you unpaused? Oh, oh, I. Uh... Oh, okay. Let's let's begin if everyone's ready. Yep. If the preambles have been set up. So, uh, my children are well known. Lady Cersei of the Westerlands. Up, oh, mm -hmm. hang on. Today, my brother Garion asked me for a fief of his own to govern. Um, I told him he is not ready. I don't Who want to I, see uh... any pop-ups unless they have to do with dragons. Who should I marry Stannis off to? Should I try to find him, the lady in red, the firewoman? Stannis? I'm trying to remember. Let me look at his character portrait. So, liege loyalists are good, we said, right? Yep. Yes. I have some liege um, Who is Stannis? So I, Lord Jamie. Stannis is my brother. I've, why? I should watch why the series. Why is Tyrion... <laughs> yeah, you should. It's amazing. Um, why is Tyrion my heir? 
Tyrion uh, the imp? Yeah. Really? Why not Lord Jamie, Lord oh, Tyrion? Oh, it's because Lord Jamie's in the Knights in the King's Guard. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, he can't be uh Oh cool, I gained the trait Valyrian Steel Sword. Oh, you got I'm one. Very glad you guys Scramble are here. to uncover the item. Apparently I just stole a Valyrian sword from Lord John of Griffin's Roost. Sweet. There's so many cool uh, decisions to make here. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff. I'm just it's going to take I think it's going to take a couple episodes for you and I to kind of get our heads yeah. around it all. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> um, but from what I can tell, things are looking good so far. Is there like a is there a domain limit? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Uh, can we possibly take it up to speed two? Yep, you have to control that. Yeah, I'll do that. Sorry, my fault. No worries. Just very, very slow troops up here. It is cold. It's, you know, slowing things down. Mm-hmm. So he's at the King's Guard, so Lord Tyrion is going to be trying to take over. He's a dwarf. He's ugly. But he's a genius. Yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to marry him off to my daughter who doesn't exist yet. All right. So don't but take him. Peter Dinklage is mine. I don't know. I don't know if I want. I, I well, he's mine. He's my son. He's yeah, my heir. He will, he will be mine at some point. The Peter Dinklage Sean Bean Empire will shine from sea to shining sea. So I'm gonna go. Th <laughs> I'm trying to go through all of my uh, my council members and what they do. Okay. Yeah, there's so much. There's yeah. so much. I'm just trying to focus on combat. I'm losing now. There's 24,000 versus mine. I'm We're trying to get down to there. This floor. You gotta they get take, down here. My troops have taken forever to get there. We'll get down here. Quick! Well, I'm coming as quickly as I can, blood brother. You're you sound so convinced. M much more quickly than you could with that paunch of yours. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> this is like we have the banter between us. Ah, mm -hmm. Jamie Lannister has become master at arms for Gerald Hightower. So he joined his council. Today, Seems my like nephew Cleo has asked me for it. Why does everybody want land? Well, of course they want land, man. Who is this guy? It's Crusader He's my Kings. Nephew. Alright, you know what? You guys gotta move over here. I don't think he's actually part of anything, so I'm just gonna tell him he didn't deserve land those lands. He hates me, but whatever. Okay. So I'm, gonna I'm gonna betroth um, Lady Marjorie of the Reach to Renly, my brother. Okay. Because... Oh no, well let me do it! Because we're at war. I need to remember to do that later. That's what happens. Uh, Are we gonna try to, to replicate the cannon? Pretty much, yeah. I'm gonna try Oh, that. really? No, I'm going off cannon immediately. Uh, <laughs> let's see. The Lord... Lord Hoster of the Riverlands wants to marry Cersei. I don't want okay. to be chased. Don't do that. You need to marry Cersei off to Aruba. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Uh, well, after Lyanna dies. Okay, that's my sister she's... you're talking about. <laughs> I know, she's still in prison. It's not my fault, man. Okay, I, he, so... I can't ransom her. Allow me to do Game of Thrones Season 1, like, recap here. Because we're a little bit prior to what would be episode one, and I understand they're going to catch a lot of flack for not having read the books. Same here, I haven't read them either. It's okay, we're going to be fine. Um, but, uh, so, your wife, or your betrothed, is my sister. Mm -hmm. She's currently in prison by the father of the white-haired Targaryen children that play a central role in the first season. Yes, Rhaegar Targaryen okay. is the father of Daenerys, Daenerys. and uh, what's the other guy? The blonde yeah. guy. Well, obviously he's blonde. Yeah, he gets the. We all know. Varys. Is yes. That, no, okay. that's no, 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 no. Varys is the big the the eunuch. Um, it is oh, like God, an we should, YS or something. We should know the Viserys. That's it. Okay, Viserys. Viserys. Yes. Okay. Um, Aruba, we're gonna win this war. You better. I mean, you're gonna win it before I even get there. Apparently. So what happens well, when you win? You're gonna you're gonna own the Iron Throne. Yes, I'll be your boss. <laughs> and so then I'm gonna make. Oh, like, go ahead. I'll make and then I'll make Northern Line Eddard Stark into the hand of the king, and then mm. you're gonna get murdered by Littlefinger. Uh, or, I think you're spoiling so some, it. I don't know. Some some guy's gonna kill you. Mm, nah, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm Sean Bean, man. I've got a really good feeling about how things are gonna go. Hey, for you me. can ask the Iron Bank for a loan. Mm-hmm. You should do that. No. They got great rates right now. The White Book, what is this? That is former King's Guardmen members. Ah. Ah. Show me the dragons. I don't think <laughs> I have any dragons. Ah, uh, like, you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're yes, trying to, we're, we're trying to keep the interaction lubricated. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that people, people think we know what we're doing. We I don't. have no friends or enemies right now. So I, have, I can decide right now upon Civil War sides. I can join yeah, the should... king. 
Or I can join Good you. Go we'll join the king, Matt. See what happens. It's an, it's an important factor. I mean, what are you going to do? Or I can stay out of it completely. That's all. That's just. It's just my intrigue choices. That's the uh, that system that we were talking about earlier. It kind of lets you come and go with these big, powerful wars. So right, you have twenty four thousand uh, troops at your disposal, Ryan. You have a lot as well. Uh, thirty four thousand troops, and I can pull. Thirty-two thousand. I'm getting hmm. smashed by Dorn. First, I fought the Iron Thrones army, and then Dorn is now killing me. But oh. Hoster Tully, and the North, and and all this stuff, the Riverlands—they're all killing everyone. Yeah, the Iron King is gonna capitulate soon. Sorry, Iron King is a Dark Souls thing. The, oh, the Iron oh. Throne is gonna capitulate soon. I'm dueling. This is important. So <laughs> I'm dueling. Apparently, mm -hmm. some guy from Dorn, Lord Harem of Brimstone. Okay. Um. Sounds pretty I'm scary. Not, Lord Harem of Brinsome overwhelms my defense and with a mighty blow sends me sprawling to the ground. <laughs> Are you dead? But I'm going to dodge. He oh, strikes, but I roll to dodge just in time, taking no more than a flesh wound. I'm now wounded. I'm going to die. I'm going to get killed. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Lord Harem of Brinsome tries to fight back, but you force your way through, easily overpowering his pathetic defense. I killed him! <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, and... At the exact same time that this is all happening, I'm starting to think that Rylene might fancy me. Time to make a move. <laughs> okay, I'm good to go. <laughs> it's a great bet. I was watching, like, you fighting these troops down here. And, oh, uh-oh. A dragon Age matures. Has begun. Um, I was watching you, like, bash your sword off of that guy's shield in that battle. And, it, like, imagining that that was the play-by-play -play for the duel. It was a lot of fun. I honestly am so overwhelmed with new stuff, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Arumba, if I if I siege the King's Landing, uh, will you still be able to get the, the war score for negotiation? Yep, yep. This okay. is CK two, so it's uh, it's one of those you know the, the castle spell is very restrictive. Okay. So it doesn't matter who sieges what. It's not like EU four. I like how you said like it's CK two. Like that means anything to me, as if these games are not just like one big map simulator in my brain. Yeah. With with like a very fluid set of mechanics. Oh shit! I have to. I, it is time for me to choose how I want to educate my lord, my son, Lord Tyrion Lannister. Do I want him educated at court? Do I want him to be good with numbers? Do I want him to be groomed for command? Tyrion? Yeah. Totally, totally groom him for command. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'll be educated at court. He'll be a fearsome foe on the throne, on the on the battlefield. I believe I, it. I could just say no and not educate him, and say fuck him, but. That would be something that Tyrion would do, or sorry, Tywin would do. <laughs> right, but I, I'm trying to break lore here a little bit. Oh. So, I have a plot available to, to murder your sister, Northern Line, my, my wife. Might, well, that's not canon, Aruma. I know, but uh, we could do it, just to me mess things up. Why do you want to mess things up, Aruma? This is my family you're talking about. Where's your uh, Where's your armory, anyway? I, I'm just kind of assaulting provinces in King's Landing. Okay, there's like 8,000 men in my capital if you want to come down here. Oh, there. Why? why would I worry about your capital? Depends. Because Are you gonna brothers? murder my my sister? <laughs> you, no, I was kidding. We're brothers. I care about you. I you, swear. I've seen the show. <laughs> King Robert loves the loves my sister, Sean Bean's sister. I know. She's like the love of my life. I exactly. Absolutely. But I have to feel that kind of your ambition to some extent Ooh. maybe spits in the face of the integrity of your marriage. Mm -hmm. Or maybe so, that's you know, just how things were back then. Considering that I'm Robert Baratheon and that my ambition is to sleep with a woman from every corner of the world, there's a crown law that I can enable called First Night. Okay. <laughs> the practice of First Night is legal. Lords may choose to bed newlywed brides in their realm. <laughs> <laughs> Once I become king, everyone will be able to do this, okay? <laughs> okay. Lord Paramount Tywin eight, Lannister, I hereby invite you to participate in the tourney of Lannisport, where knights and lords shall test their mettle. A chance do to prove my worth. This is below me. Don't ask me about small tourneys. Sure, a chance to prove my worth. How old are you at the start here? Uh, I was 39 at start. I'm 41 ah, now. Okay. Arumba and I are both quite young. We're like 21, 22 or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty old. I'm not gluttonous yet, but I will be. <laughs> it's pretty likely. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you know. I've seen the show. Hey, Eddard Stark, you have, uh, you have almost as good a combat skill as I do, but you have uh, a really cool one called Honorable. Okay. It just makes everyone like you. You have a firm believer in the importance of duty, mercy, and honor. Oh, yeah, I saw it here. You're also a bit of a prude. You're, you're chaste. Yep. 
Uh, I have zero children, which is, you know... The the Stark children are a big point of uh, narrative. Yeah, hoping, you should, my ambition uh, is to have a son. but You should name them after the, the characters in the book. Okay, so you got got... Um, Sword lady, lady who wants to be a, a swordsman despite being a lady. That's not okay in the year 82, 84. Uh, and then you have uh, redhead lady, uh, Kirsten <laughs> Dunst in Spider-Man 1. And uh, <laughs> no. then there's also, uh, I'm going to just call him the Wiggles. He's like a six-year-old. Okay. He's, he's, he's clumsy. He falls down a lot. I remember that from the first episode. Are you talking about the one that falls off the, the castle? Exactly, yeah. He's, he, or rather is pushed. I'm going to call him Butterfingers. Butterfinger Stark. No. <laughs> Who's Oriole? Who? Oriole? It's, it's a bird. This guy, I can arrest this guy because he's currently investigating Oriole's legitimacy. Is hmm. that you, it's like one of your children. Nope. Sir Ilwyn suspects that Lord Taubert may not be Oriole's real father and intends to prove it. Okay. Yeah. Arrest him. Why not? Uh, sounds about right. You got the power. Are they so only going to surrender at 100%, do you think? Yes, definitely. Okay. It's a claim for the I arrested empire. him. Fuck him. Yeah, exactly. You, you are totally winning this war for me. I My whole army got destroyed and uh, just sort of hanging out, watching you guys siege everything. No, no army left? Bro. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. <laughs> you totally. have no army left? And he surrenders. No, I have a huge army Whoa! left. Whoa! Oh, my lord. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Okay, let's pause because there's lots of pop-ups. <laughs> the Iron Throne just took over everything. Yes. I think. Literally everything. Hey, yeah. Oh, but that's because you're like an emperor and we're kings under you. Or I'm a king so, under you. Okay. So all hail his grace, Robert of House Baratheon, king of the Andals, and Raynor. Uh, Rain Raynor? Rornar. Roynar. I don't know what that word is. <laughs> uh, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, protector of the realm, long live the king. So we have, you and I, Northern Line, we just usurped the Iron Throne. Okay. And, uh, your grace, the conclave of the Citadel, has selected the Grand Maester, the head of the Order of Maesters and Servant to the Iron Throne. They've they've elected Pycelle, who is from the actual books and stuff. Mm. The war has been won, and our enemies' armies have been crushed, and the Loyalist forces have been defeated. Lord William Dari, one of your opponents, has been brought before you to hear judgment. What should I do with all the traitors? Uh, d kill them. Free them. I don't know. Free them? <laughs> uh, Okay. As he's not your prisoner, he may rebel. So we shouldn't send him to the dungeon. I have uh, I have an event as well. A large one. May I read it's it? Like, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just reading stuff. The Tower of Joy. The war has ended, let, yet Lyanna Stark is still prisoner in the Tower of Joy. As he approached the tower, Ned's wraiths moved up beside him with shadow swords in hand. They were seven against three, and now it begins, said Sir Arthur Dane, the Sword of the Morning. He unsheathed Dawn and held it with both hands. The blade was pale as milk glass, alive with light. No, Ned said with sadness in his voice. Now it ends, and the only option is this will end in bloodshed. I don't know what it means, though. Perhaps my wife, or my, sorry, my sister has died? Isn't no. It, no. She, she's free now. With a sword. Yeah, my wife is home. She came home, we're sleeping together, it's great. Well, I freed her from the Tower of Joy just now. Thank you. That's You're welcome. awesome. You mean okay. I'm going to get her pregnant now? <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so, that. what should I do with Rhaegar Targaryen? I have him in my prison. Oh, execute his, uh, his dragon-loving ass. I shall have his head? Mm-hmm. All right, he's dead. How nice. about Aegon? Uh, okay, so Aegon of the defeated royal Targaryen family has been brought before you. What is to be done with him? This is Aegon Targaryen. He's three. <laughs> this is a... I think this kid was actually born... I don't think this is... This is not Aegon Targaryen, the one that, like, controls the wall. You know, okay. the old, old Aegon Targaryen. Kill him. My tyranny will go up if I kill him. He hasn't technically done anything wrong. I'm going to make him... He's a hostage. Okay. That's fine. Rainus is five. I don't recognize her. She's hostage. Ares. Okay, so here's Ares the Mad, the 41-year-old, the lunatic. Yeah, the king that we just took over. Or did you kill him? We should, we yeah, should absolutely. Him. Off with his head. <laughs> For winning that okay. war, I got a sweet-ass coat. That's my favorite part of this so far. What should I do about the king's guard? Because, um, okay, so Sir Tristan Tallyhill, one of my opponents, has been brought forth. I can I can revoke his King's Guard status, or let him continue to serve. Hey, that's that's up to you. You're the Emperor, man. 
Okay, we're going to let him stick around. We'll let them all stick around. Now, Jamie Lannister, on the other hand, I'm going to revoke his Kingsguard ship. Nice. <laughs> because he's a he's a bast he's not good. Yeah. Don't trust him. Or I could send him to dungeon. That's my son you're talking about. I know. <laughs> I know. But I'm going to remove him from the Kingsguard. That way you can land him. Unmarried heir. Well, I have a new heir. Yes, I just changed it. Okay, right. okay, I just got through all my events, and the timer just went off. So yeah, that's perfect timing. That was a very eventful uh, first episode. Arumbo is now taking I'm over the Iron Throne. So are you not my liege, then? You should get an event within the next month or so to come back underneath the fold of the Iron Throne. You have a lot of power suddenly, Arumbo. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> it's, you either, what's the saying? You either live or die in the Game of Thrones? Yeah. <laughs> well, like uh, that. let's see. I had a lot of fun with that. I apologize for the fact that we had to start a new series so quickly after starting Raja's, but at the same time, it was very much out of our hands. So uh, allow me to give an impassioned plea once more to, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button because it helps out a great deal no matter whose video you're watching. And of course, subscribe if you want to see uh, the Game of Thrones on Ravel here as you are watching the television show or reading the books as well. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. See you soon.